And for that girl backstage, they make it publicly clear, never mind who you thought I was, I'm Rick James, bitch. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Two Chainz says in a recent interview that Ludacris did not want to let Two Chainz out of his Def Jam contract, and he had to pay one hundred thousand dollars plus the points off of his future albums, which means whatever those albums make or made, Ludacris gets his slice of the pie. What made you want to leave DTP? Because at the time, let's just be clear, the label was one of the hottest labels in the industry. Well, I'm so, I'm not ignorant, but let me be honest. The name alone is DTP. That's a misdemeanor. I'm a whole felon. I've been a felon since I was 15 mm. years old. So it really was like, that was been a disconnection with me. I probably never even said wow. this to nobody from day one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, no, like humbly speaking, like that's something like really. Oh my God. No, humbly, I didn't even humbly. beat that. Yeah, humbly speaking, like that's that was the, kind of the disconnection, like you know right. what I'm saying for me. Right. Yeah, the name of my shit is the real you, the real university. Some people right. like it, some people don't. I can't. Right. But at this particular time, that was a disconnection with me because I, I that was that wasn't a charge that I had. And you know, I just started growing as an artist. I, I started growing as an individual, and I started recognizing. Um, you know, my power and how I changed the room and just like mm -hmm. how I could go places. I didn't really need to go places with him to get recognized or recognition. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just, you know, it was a, it was amicable. You know what I'm saying? I woke up and I said, I called him. I said, I don't want to be on the label anymore. Right. And then they said, you can't do that. Oof. Well, you know, you just can't get off the label like that. I'm like, what you mean? I don't want to. I want to just do my own thing. They thought I was about to go sign with like cash money because I had a strong relationship with Tune. But really, I've been on, I'm, I've been around Chris, I've been around Wayne, and then I'm learning that I can really do this on my own. That's what I'm really getting out of all this. I'm not getting that I should go with another from one, camp, right. one wagon right. to the other. I'm not getting. Right. I'm not. That's not what my mind is. I'm getting that. Oh. I can do this too. I just need a really good team around me. I need some right. facilitators. I need some people. You know what I mean? I started right. getting this shit. Just like, right. you want to leave? You want to leave? You know, give me a hundred thousand right now. But they didn't know I had the money, right? <laughs> oh shit! So, so I was like, man, I go get this fucking shoebox. By the way, it's my album cover, the shoebox. Shoe I go yeah. get this fucking shoebox right now because really I had like a hundred and like eleven thousand. But I was willing to 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 yeah. like. Yeah. To Pay, right to get out, you know. But I'm not like even. I'm smart enough, but I'm not even rational enough to know that even if that was the way to do it, I couldn't just bring them a box of money and just be right. out my deal. Like right. at the time, I just wanted to be out of it and just right. like buy them saying a hundred dollars, like nigga, that, like and like you know what I'm saying. Like I just just was my attitude at the time. I wanted to, wanted to just be on my own. I had a team. I had people that I felt like believed in me. Not to say that they didn't, but I just. Man, I've always, 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 always been a leader. I've always believed in myself. I've always, always been confident. I hadn't always been rich. You know, I'm, I'm starting to tell people <clears throat> that I don't want to be in this situation, and I don't care who listens at this time. But I have a lawyer, and a lawyer that I had at the time act like he couldn't like figure out how to get me out of the contract. And then I get the lawyer that I got right now, and he looks at the contract and tells me he can get me out in you know a couple weeks. And I'm like. You know, basically cool. You know what I'm saying? And then, so I pay, I pay to get out, and I pay, I get them. You pay a lawyer. You don't pay Ludo anymore. No. Uh, I I pay Ludo to get out. Okay. They get a point on my first three albums. They got a point on my first three albums. So you pay Ludo the hundred grand. I paid Ludo the hundred grand. Okay. Plus the um, points on the first three albums. Yep, I gave him a point on each. Listen to this, young artist. You know, no, it's, gave, a, it's a learning experience. It's a learning I experience. I gave him a point on the first. I gave him a point on each of the three albums. I'm on my. I just dropped my seventh album. So, so you're out of that, right? Yeah, that, I'm, well, I'm on my eighth album that I'm about to drop now. So.